Okay, now if they want to do both increase weight and muscle and performance, you can't go that drastic. You really got to think about uh, doing less all the way around, all right, because you can't gain that much muscle and, and, and improve performance simultaneously. So all of the, like, like we, you know, we uh, do all the nutrition programs for the combines here in this area, for the NFL combines and so forth. We, they, don't, they all want to put on all this muscle. Well, that's, gonna, that's not going to help performance. You've got to be very careful. You've got to be much slower, right? The same rules here, but you just can't proceed at a pace that would compromise performance gains. So if you're a, a D-back or a wide receiver like my son, then you need to be very careful how much muscle you do in the offseason because it could check, it could uh, wipe out your vert. So if you've got a, like a 40 vert, a 40-inch 40, a 40 vertical jump, you could be down to 38, but yet you're bigger and stronger. And you got to, those are the things that are not going to help you in sports. So you got to, for those of you that work with athletes, that's an important distinction here about how much muscle you can gain. That's why I say they're not necessarily mutually exclusive. They can work synergistically, but at the same time, they can they, one can't work without with, with the other sometimes. All right, but again, and now when you're going through this process with one of your clients or yourself, if body fat or overall weight increases undesirably, and by the way, it's okay to gain some fat with muscle. It's easier to gain more muscle when you're gaining fat too. Trying to keep the fat down sometimes hinders the ability to gain muscle. You can always lose the fat later. We all know how to do that, right? So if body fat or overall weight increases undesirably, slightly reduce the caloric intake, or what I prefer, add some different, uh, your favorite aerobic work. That way I can keep the food coming in. Okay. And again, uh, like I said, the, the bottom line is that novices at any age can put on muscle relatively quick. Just keep that in mind. Because what slows it down is experience and age. So that combination which we're going to look at at the very end of this thing here. But that's what I always say. If you do proper nutrition and you do everything right, there's really not anybody I can't put muscle on because they'll be the first time they've ever done it all right, at least at that age group. All right. Gaining muscle while losing fat. Uh, this is just you know, the bottom line is that what you're going to do here is a very small deficit if you're going to try to do this. So I just added this one slide for you. Your vegan proteins, you can see them in here. Uh, these are the ones you, you would use here. But you're going to go higher protein now significantly, and I would go six times a day. When you're trying to build muscle and lose fat, a tiny deficit, protein six times a day, which would include your before and after. So, that, you know, you've got four meals plus your before and after protein. That gives you six, right? And higher protein. I would be greater than one gram per pound. You're probably going to get more like a one and a half grams per pound when you're trying to do that. And these are the different uh, products that we, we use during that. You have to supplement. You're, you're not going to gain muscle while losing fat if you don't supplement. And the more you want to do, because you've got to feed your muscle nutrients without the calories. It's a trick. It is something when I, uh, when I lecture around the world, I tell people building muscle, and you've got a group of like physicians in the room or a bunch of people in the room, they go, you can't build muscle and lose fat at the same time. I go, we deal with thousands of people a day. And it's all about feeding muscle nutrients without calories. Feed muscle, starve fat. And you got to be, it's a very close, close grouping there when it comes to the things you can do. And the more you want to do, the more muscle you want to put on, the more fat you want to get them down, the more you're going to have to supplement in order to do that. So we have to, we design it all out. So those are the stack, different stacking when necessary. It depends on how far you are. I can do that very easily with just a vitamin and protein with beginners. But as you get going, you're going to have to add stuff in order to keep doing that. 